All right. A game on my custom pack uh, today. This is before the update. I have about three more videos, or more videos uh, that will come out before I start uh, posting videos with the new update in them. I'm still unsure um, about if I want to do any videos on the ranked mode that just came out in this update. Um, you know, I might, uh, but to be honest, playing with the meta isn't a very interesting video to watch, if you know what I mean. But, um, you know, I might, I might post a poll about that, and, uh, we'll figure out, we'll figure that out later. But anyways, um, this, uh, combines one of my favorite new strategies, which is, uh, which is, a uh, frog level 2, and getting a big jellyfish, and then swapping onto something, um, and it combines it with something I've been wanting, uh, to try more of for a while, which is, uh, the new saber tooth. um, and I know I already did a video on the new saber tooth, um, with emo, emu, uh, specifically, but I thought, you know, I'd maybe give something else a, a try. So I was just playing around with it. This is actually going to originally be a video on a spiny source. Because uh, I wanted to. Or I guess a, a stegosaurus. Like, I saw its new, or not new ability. I, thought, I saw the way the ability was, like, doing really well. Um in star pack especially um with husky and stuff and i thought i might try out getting uh star pack saber tooth and stegosaurus and like see how well that goes um because i knew that uh, saber tooth was the best tier six um and the one that needed the stats from the stego the most but it all kind of sparked from this one guy who had a saber tooth in his second to back position and a stego in the back I believe or not a stego a spiny um, and so though the way it would work is that when the stego got hit um, it would spawn or when the saber tooth got hit it would spawn a 6-6 six, six or 12-12 12, 12, or 18-18 depending on the level and when it would die, the the saber tooth would get buffed by the uh, Spinosaurus because there was nothing else to buff. Um, and so I thought, how do I make this even crazier? And my first thought was uh, making sure that all of the Spinosaurus I wanted to get would hit the saber tooth. So as you could see from that shop uh, just last turn, I have Donut in the pack. Um... And I also have stuff like banana, I believe, because I wanted the opportunity to have Sabertooth as a front sc scaler and then just run a four squad for a bit. Um, because I do think four squads are better with this strategy. Now, I don't remember if I ended up getting a four squad in this game, but uh, no matter what, I think it's good to watch. And the reason that four squads are better, if you are asking or are curious, um, it's just because you can, um, you can get, it's hard to explain, you can get the saber tooth to spawn something, um, much easier, um, and otherwise you'd have to put something at the front, because if saber tooth was at the front on a full five squad, unless there was something like, something that killed like a whale i guess um you would just not be able to get a summon off of your saber tooth unless one of your spinies got sniped which you're not hoping for one of your spinies to get sniped so um and another bad habit i i do have unfortunately is i i keep my frog at the front even though it's not level one anymore um, and it's probably, it is the lowest statted unit, but I guess it's good scorpion protection. So, you know, it's not, it's not too big of a deal, but definitely maybe don't do that if you have melon on your jig on your jellyfish like me. Uh, 
Uh, here I'm just rolling out for the saber tooth, and I do get it, but I didn't have enough gold to buy it. So I believe I'm at one heart. No, I'm at three. So I mean, we're pretty set already. Um, at one heart, it would have been a lot more scary, but we're just not at one heart. So it works out pretty fine for us. And now we get the saber tooth, and now we align it correctly by the donut on the saber tooth, by a T Rex. And uh, I was thinking about how to make this work, and luckily I, I catch that the sab saber tooth wouldn't have been able to work. Um, and I realized that the thing that I'd been missing on this team was wide scaling on the spinies, because at, after the saber tooth dies, which is the core of this team, um, the spinies just kind of have to fend for themselves, and they needed to be statted to do so. And that was what I was missing out on. Um, and this is the first game where I actually did that, so. If you're looking to do this game yourself, um, definitely pick up a T-Rex, which buffs the tier 5s and 6s, which are the, sh the stronger units, which is really dumb for them to make the ability, but, you know, I, I can't complain, I guess. It worked for me. Here, we're just gonna level up the Sabertooth. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking that maybe... Pepper would have been a good idea, um, or that mushroom would have been a, a good idea on the saber tooth. I wish mushroom uh, seagull would like not affect the saber tooth at all. Um, but mushroom seagull like is probably the worst case scenario scenario for um, uh, mushroom seagull like a saber tooth is because if you mushroom a saber tooth and it spawns something that will also get the mushroom um, with the seagull, so it's not worth it to run. Even though I had that idea, um, like it's just not gonna work, <laughs> unfortunately. But here you can see exactly what I was kind of wanting to happen this whole time, which is just Sabretooth runs through every big unit on the team, and then the Spinosaurus finish it off uh, for a pretty easy victory pretty comfortable too definitely uh if i had to give any tips for if you're trying to run this team um definitely make sure to buy those t-rexes because if you don't your team will get no scaling you don't have to buy two like i did uh one level two should do you good and put it at the front and then buy another spiny you could um i mean maybe i'm stupid and that's not the best thing to do but you know it's whatever um, and Spiny, for this specifically, it's actually sad that they don't give health. Uh, or they don't give more health. But anyways, it's gonna cut out here. But, hope you all have a good day, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.